Okay, we are coming from the south end of the bridge going toward the northern end of the bridge. And we're gonna take our time because we gotta watch everywhere we're walking, such as right here, where someone just put a piece of, not even plywood, it'd be the particle board, the flake board. Someone's put some new lumber across it, but there's still a lot that isn't. As you can see right there, water's still flowing right through it. So we're just going to take our time trying to walk on what should be a beam. Once again, water flowing, missing boards. Again, someone trying to repair places of it because this bridge gets used quite frequently as people walk across it. We're just wanting you to see, of course the, the steel part of the bridge is on either side with the walkway that was built in between it with huge, oh man, I don't know what those would be, maybe, um, 10 inches, 12 inches square of womanized lumber that basically acts as the beam that goes between the steel part of the bridge and the, from one end to the other, from one side to the other. Here again, someone fixing part of it. So we'll step on the part that's fixed, which is here and here, but you see the next spot is all rotted through. So you step out to the next spot that was fixed and I can see right down through there I can see water. Now some people just walk across this like it's nothing. This isn't my greatest forte by the way. But I just wanted you to see what it was is people walk this bridge and uh, why all the, con the concern for Manor Township folks and here again sections that were replaced by by people that use the bridge because the whole thing was rotted away right here so we are going to step on the place that was replaced and step across the next spot. As we move our way along, we're about halfway across the bridge right now to kind of give you a little bit of an idea of how big the bridge happens to be. It's pretty long. Again, places where my foot is and where it's all uh, decayed. These people must pray a lot to come across this bridge. But this is the shortest way. If they park over near the Eddie's Marina side of the bridge, the northern side, to come across rather than going the whole way down to Garda's and coming in the other way, which is quite a long, extensive route. Now here someone has replaced quite a considerable section that probably was all decayed. From what I'm hearing from the locals, they're saying, well, the people that use it were trying to help. But here's why.
as you can see, I mean, you're seeing water straight down through below us. And that's a pretty good drop. Not something uh, I'm too interested in experiencing. We're almost to the other side now. You can still see the sections that have been replaced and the sections that have not been replaced yet but are falling through on this bridge. People use this all the time, so it's not like it's just a once in a while thing. And uh, I'm kind of surprised that no one has uh, banned the bridge and shut it down. And we're almost to the other side now of the bridge. And now we're coming out onto the openness. And of course, this side of the bridge, having a parking lot, as you're seeing. So cars will come here and park in the summer, specifically, in order to walk across the bridge and access their camp, rather than going the whole way around.